Welcome back, everyone. USA Gymnastics on Universal Sports. The 2011 Visa National Gymnastics Championships are in the books. The women's all-around finals are over, and what an exciting up-and-down evening it was of gymnastics. But we are very fortunate to have with us, I'm John Rothsberger, Nastia Lukin, of course. We're very fortunate to have the first and second place winners with us. Michaela Maroney and Jordan Weaver, congratulations, ladies. Thank you. are relaxing a little bit now? Yeah. We were just talking about before we got on air how gymnastics meets are so much fun when they're over. Isn't that funny how that works? I, I want to start with you, Jordan. What did John Geddert say to you the moment you walked off the podium in your last event and you were the national champion? Um, basically, um, he kind of knew that um, that Beamer team was enough, so he, he said congratulations, and he's really proud of me, so it was really exciting. Coming into today's competition, you were already in the lead, so did that put a little bit of extra pressure on yourself, and were you hoping to come off with a senior title? Um, it's it was definitely one of my goals, but um, mainly I just wanted to come in and have fun and do my routines like I've been practicing and whatever the outcome is. And how did this competition differentiate from, say, the American Cup you competed earlier when you won the title and you beat current world all-around champion Elia Mustafina? Now you're coming into here, and it's your first senior national championships. You won as a junior. How did it feel compared to the American Cup this time? Um, it felt, it was really fun. You know, there's a lot more girls competing here, and um, a lot of my friends are here competing, so it's fun we cheer each other on. And, yeah. You can yeah. definitely see that team bonding out there. Yeah, I, I bet it's fun when you win by six points. <laughs> It's always fun. Michaela, you know, you had a, a rough day one. It wasn't what you expected, I'm sure. What did you do to turn around day two? Um, I just had to keep really aggressive and just, like, forget about it and move on and do the best I could on the second day. How ridiculous is this vault, though? Yeah, I know, I'm not taking anything away question. from Jordan, but I hadn't seen this before. I mean, where did this come from? How would you put that together? Um, I mean, I've been working on it for, like, three years now, and now it's just kind of like a vault for me. It's nothing special, but... Yeah, nothing special. I think we it's a pretty extra right there. special right there. I want to know, you got a 9.5 on the execution score. I think I have a little uh, little business with the judges there. How do you get five tenths off on that ball? Uh, honestly, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you had a tiny step on the landing, but I want to know, have you ever tried a triple? I have tried a triple in the pit, but I don't know if I'll be, like, competing that anytime soon. Have you ever upgraded or thinking about upgrading your second vault? Yeah, I'm working on half on full and a half, and hopefully I can compete that in the future to contribute to USA. Going ahead towards now, you have two selection camps, so the process is just beginning. How are you feeling going into these selection camps? It must add a little bit of confidence. Yeah, definitely. Um, this meet was the first step, so we know we have a lot of hard work left to do in the gym. There's lots of improvements that I can make, so we're really, I'm really looking forward to the process. What about the team? You know, I know you don't want to look too far ahead. you got some stuff to happen, but I'm just going to throw this out there. You guys may have a pretty good chance of being on that world team. First of all, what do you, about, what do you think about being teammates, and what do you think about the chances for the United States? That would be so cool if we were teammates, I you know? mean, we're best buddies, like, just regularly, so that would be, like, absolutely amazing to have your best friend out there with you. What do you think the chances are for the United States? Um, I think we have a really good chance. You know, if everyone, um, you know, competes their potential, I think we'd have a really strong team. Well, congratulations well, to both of you, and thank you so much for coming on the show. Yeah, thank and, you, guys. And when we come back, we'll have more on Around the Gym. Welcome back to Around the Gym on Universal Sports. Probably, unfortunately, the only gymnast in the United States who might right now be able to challenge Jordan Weaver for the senior national title is going to be too young to compete in the Olympic Games next year. That's Caitlin Ohashi. Caitlin, welcome to Around the Gym. She's our junior national champion. To start with that real quick, junior national champion, you dominated the competition. Is it a little bit frustrating to think that you might not get your chance out on the Olympic? Well, you won't be able to get your chance out on the Olympic floor next year because you're too young. Yeah, um, it's disappointing, but I mean, I guess I'm lucky that I get more experience on just training more and going to Worlds and everything. And Coming into this competition, you know, you, you've, this is your third national championships already. So your first one, you got 10th place. Yesterday, last year, sorry, you just missed it and you were second in the all-around. So did that kind of have a fire and wanted you to, you know, motivate you even more to come into this one and try and win? Yeah, um, 
<laughs> hey, this is her this first. This is her first. Hey, yeah, yes. first national interview. I mean, her feet barely touched the ground here. I mean, you can't. See. This is big time for her. Take your time, enjoy yourself, relax. We're really we relaxed. We get her a drink or something, like a water or soda, make her relax. Inside the gym, she's very relaxed because you know we train at the same gym together, so she's very giggly and outgoing. She's just probably a little bit nervous. Yeah, real quick, I don't know if we can get this on camera or not, but you know when you're the junior champ, you got like the keds going on right here. But when you become the Olympic champ, you wear boomerangs on your feet. So eventually, don't worry, Nasi is not really that tall. You'll be there, Caitlin, no problem. So you you obviously come from a gym, a legacy, and, and Nasi, ironically enough, was in the same situation. You are correct. Um, too young to compete in, yep. in the Olympics in 2004. 2003, I won my first national title, just like you did a year before the Olympics, that you're too young. So you're in a good so spot. So what, what words of advice would you give her, you know, being five years out from her first chance right. at the Olympics? What do you would tell young Caitlin to keep her fired up and motivated for uh, Brazil, is it? Brazil, that's right, Rio 2016. Well, obviously, I think you're in a really great spot, and it just goes to show you go out there, your third national championships, and not only do you win the all-around gold, but you also racked in a beam title, a bar title, and a floor title. Now, I mean, that's kind of incredible. Do you, do you feel, are you proud of yourself at least? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I'm disappointed on beam. What are you disappointed on? Beam? My sheep yeah. jump. Yeah, so you had a silly fall on your sheep jump today, which I personally you never seen you do the that. The sheep jump, I mean, don't the worry. Sheep those, the sheep It's all the sheep yeah. jump. <laughs> those darn sheep jumps. <laughs> it's okay. You, you, made, you made your hardest skills, which some of these girls... I don't think any of the senior girls even did one of your, your skills on the beam. You do a back handspring, back handspring layout with a full twist. How quick did you learn that skill? Um, actually, kind of soon because, um, like, the second day I was on low beam, Natalia told me to go on high beam. And I remember that, and you did it pretty much on your first try. So this is, this is pretty talented I hate talented gymnasts like right you here. when I was a gymnast. They learn skills in one day. Do you have a favorite event? Beam, probably. How about yeah. bars? Pretty good on bars. Yeah, no. Hard. I don't know. It's okay, I guess. But I like being the best. What does Caitlin like to do in her spare time when you're not training, although you're probably always training or going to school? I like shopping and painting my nails. Oh, yes. Okay, so this girl, she's, like, notorious. She paints her nails and other people's nails, like, all crazy different designs. Let's, Let's see. see. Oh, no nail, po no I mean, nail polish today. seriously, you go on your first national interview with those <laughs> nails? I mean, my nails look better than that. <laughs> well, she was competing, right? So no nail polish yeah. competing. That's all right. Well, Caitlin, we are so proud of you. Of course, I am, and everybody on, you know, the whole country, we're all rooting for you. Congratulations. You Thank might be you. the cutest thing I've ever seen. I mean, seriously. <laughs> we have hopefully got a future icon right here on the couch for her first national interview. But when we come back, we are going to have a current icon in the sport of gymnastics right here on the couch, the one, the only, Bella Caroli. Welcome back to Around the Gym on Universal Sports. And we are joined by none other than Bella Caroli. Bella, thank you so much for being here. After a night of competition like this, what are your thoughts a year out from London? That was a little rough night. Rough spots here, rough out there, but there were a lot of good stuff. Whatever it was exciting to see it, exciting to realize that what a power this young generation is holding. And um, with the uh, trio of uh, Weaver and uh, Maroni and Reisman, I would say that you know, we have a very strong backbone of the team. Very, very comforting to me to see the old generation coming up. And you know what? I think some of them, or maybe most of them, are going to be part of the coming up World Championship team. That's very, very exciting. Memo, looking good for her very first appearance after so long time of interruption. Sean Johnson. Oh, she was controlled, did not do any, any major tricks yet. Difficulty level is not high enough, but sure, she was consistent, just like an Olympic champion is supposed to be. So it was very comforting, very exciting to see them. So, Bella, you know, night one for the, the women was not as pretty as tonight. You know, they had a lot of mistakes, and you had to go home with Marta and listen to whatever Marta had to say. What was she, is she in your ear? What, what does she have to say after that first jo day? John, I have to tell you, Marta is is not excited about the whole thing because the rough spots are still rough spots and, and they're painful. But overall, she's very pleased on the status of the, of the preparation because we, remember, eight more long weeks we have to follow. Eight more long weeks in order to get to the, the final and the best shape 
possible. Right now, of course, you know, we do have a, a caution to go, to go from there and go all the way to that eight, six grueling preparation all the way going into the World Championship. So I think we're in a good shape. And going into the next year, we have, of course, the Olympic Games. And they've changed the team from, you know, 96, it was a magnificent seven. Then it went down to six. And now this year, of course, it's only five. Do, do, you, think that's, do you think that's right? Do you think, how do you think it's going to be for everybody? I believe, I believe the Bejo that it is, there is nothing to change. Nothing to argue about that. I don't want even to bring up the issue. I don't want to mess up the mind of the girls or anybody the mind of the coaches. This is the thing we have to follow it. And I believe we're going to concur. We're going to be strong and we're going to again show that the U.S. is the best team in the world. Bella, you've seen a lot of stuff in the sport of gymnastics, more than probably everyone in this arena combined. Can you give us your favorite, your favorite gymnast of all times out of all the gymnasts you've coached over the years? Which one do you think is the best or your favorite or that stands out in your world the most? <laughs> John, you put me down again. Come on, you on I want to it would be very hard. It would be very, very hard to say. I could, I could not deny that Nadia is just growing like a, a beautiful first love, you know, like that experience like a first love. Uh, with her performances in Montreal in 1976, that was something that one was very comforting as a young coach, exciting and as, as unforgettable. But, you know, Kerry and Kim Zemeskal and all the girls, the one who came after that, they've been putting a beautiful page on on the history of the sport and gave me a lot of satisfaction. So it would be very, very hard to say it. Which one is exactly the best? <laughs> now, earlier we had on our new junior national champion, Caitlin Ohashi. Were you here uh, watching her earlier today? Ooh, holy <laughs> cow. Holy yeah, no kidding, huh? She's a tremendous talent. I, probably the best talent i ever seen in my life. And honestly say, probably she's going to be one of the greatest shining stars very, very shortly. Too bad, Susie. She's not at the age yet to be participant of the coming up Olympic Games, but, you know, she has to wait for her time, and when her time gonna come, she gonna be a tremendous, tremendous competitor. What do you think of the age limit? Do you think it's, it should be lower? Do you think it's okay where it's at? It's changed, obviously, a lot since Nadia was out on the floor. John, I've always been, been adamantly fighting for get away that, that age limit, that, that embarrassment out of it. Get, get away with the cheating because the age limit. Just open it up, open it up, and give an opportunity for young people who have been prepared for many, many years. I mean, Ohashi probably has already about 10 years, even though she's 14 or 15. She's already had about 10 full years of preparation. Doesn't she deserve to be at the Olympic Games? Sure she does. And all the other ones around the world. Uh, remember the greatest athletes of women's gymnastics, Nadia, was 14 at the time and she was Olympic champion. So why? Why should deny now to this young generation the opportunity to be there and try their very best? You know, Bella, we've, we've, I agree with you, by the way. I think it's ridiculous. You know, we have uh, a lot of comebacks this week at the championships. How about some coaching comebacks? Can we maybe, what do you think? I mean, maybe get the the, Bar, the Bella and Marta team together again? What, what's going on? Come on. The Bella and Marta team is still together. Come on. Manage. We want to see you on the Just floor, on baby. The floor. <laughs> you can carry me out there if you want. Come on. Well, if you if you break something on you, I think everything's still I broken. Be to I'm not sure I carry you out, but I'm not sure you carry you off from there anymore. <laughs> no, seriously, have you thought about coming back and coaching at all? Well, um, no, no, no. That, that is out of question. I'm very pleased whatever I'm doing. I'm very pleased, you know, I'm trying to make a decent management for the National Team Training Center, give them an opportunity to the girls to feel better about themselves, to, to feel that they have a home that they prepare, and give the opportunity to the coaches to get together, unite, and with a united effort, go for the highest quality. No, my, my return is out of question. And final thoughts on the team going into the World Championships. What do you think their chances are? World Championship is going to be a tough one again, but as you see, the turmoil is out there big. Some of the teams just announced tonight they will not participate on the Japan Olympic uh, World Championship I'm talking about uh, because, you know, the controversial issues on the radiation, etc., etc., etc. So that's going to be interesting, but I know one thing. Even with the full participation, the, the U.S. team would be strong and powerful. Well, Bella... I still want to see you come back and coach. 
We're going to talk about it when you take me hunting. The next hunting trip of, for us, I will That's do my first. Idea. We're going to talk about <laughs> your return. <laughs> okay? Thank you for joining us, Bella. We appreciate it. An icon in the sport of gymnastics as we watch the awards. We have more to come. We have the newest Olympic medalist in the United States, Tasha Schreiker, when we come back.